The fact that you are called mommy of the church does not now make you unable to respect elderly women in church. It's a privilege. It's not a right in any way. And if they call you mommies because they, they feel they should. Because you have cases where sometimes a pastor's wife comes and because the elderly women are calling her mommy, mommy say, yes, how are you? Yes, uh, uh, Mrs. This person, please do, go here, do this. Mrs. That person, go there, do that. Mrs. That one, go there, do that. No. No. If you as a pastor allow your wife to treat the women like that, you close down that church. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If she has no ability to regard those that are senior to her, then that woman has no, does not deserve to be respected by those people. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I don't know if there's any of, any, any of the elderly women I've, I've greeted on close quarters before. Stand up, let me give you an illustration. Now, sometimes I'm greeting, I'm greeting elderly women. Oh yeah, now, come, turn. Oh yeah, greet me. Did you see that? <laughs> it happens all the time. All right, let's greet. What happened? My knee will hit the woman's knee. Because I am equally bending down to greet this mama. And she is bending down to greet me. Our knees will jam. I won't stand and say, I am the pastor's wife. Therefore, everybody should come and lie down on the ground to respect me. It doesn't work that way. The respect you give to them also determines the respect they give to you. The honor you give to them determines the honor they give to you. Many of them are old enough to be your mothers. They are respecting you not because of you, but because of the oil on your head. So don't abuse the oil on your head by turning yourself into a, an object of disrespect and prideful arrogance. No pastor's wife should have any clique or group of women or one woman that can be identified and say, this is the mommy's closest friend. There should be no such person. Now, what is the danger of that? It's not that you don't want to have somebody that you can confide in and call up all the time and have come to your house and have follow you everywhere. But the risk of it is if one person is the only person that is identified as the mommy's personal person, you have pushed away everybody else. Nobody else can have access to her. That's a dangerous state of mind or state of existence. And as a pastor's wife, you should have the ability to be able to relate with everybody across board. Old, young, middle, poor, rich, any class. A pastor's wife must be very careful about talking. You know women have issues with talking. Don't allow somebody to come to you for counseling and tomorrow they hear the counseling matter coming from the altar. Don't be a focus or an object of gossip. Somebody told you something and then tomorrow they hear that thing from another person's mouth. That is a lack of integrity. Anything that is told to you is told to you in confidence. So somebody should not come to you with an issue and that issue be communicated to another person, particularly on the platform of gossip. These are issues that must be very carefully attended to.